Mm. Hey, what's up, Yumdy Lou's? This is Comcast, Mr. 5150. YMDLU.com. Got on my subscriber shades as always. You know, um, I was on Twitter today, because y'all know, uh, I be shooting out tweets now and stuff. You know, just just trying to get my brand out there, but a person by the name of Don B tweeted out something that says people take pride in the wrong things. And when I saw that tweet, I was like, damn, man, that is so true. Like, if, for instance, you got people that take pride in being ghetto as hell. And being ghetto as hell is not necessarily a black thing. It's not necessarily a white thing. It's not necessarily a anything thing. It's a people thing. But they take pride in just being loud as hell. Just just being disrespectful as hell. Especially while in a public place. Prime example. I watched a video on Worldstar about a young man that was in court with his girlfriend uh, because of a speeding ticket. And his girlfriend was up in front of the judge. And the guy had got up to help out his girlfriend. Well, his uh, pants were sagging so low that the judge could see his underwear. The, the judge, of course, got pissed off, gave him three days in jail. Well, anyway, those three, three days got reduced to time served. So he only ended up spending one day in jail. But after this idiot gets out and stuff and he's talking talking to the news reporter or or whoever it was this fool said well i guess i gotta pull pull my pants all the way up to my chest and look like urkel no pull them up around your damn waist where they belong see that again is just taking pride in just being dumb as hell common sense you know you might not respect a judge you might not like a judge, but one thing is for sure, you better damn well respect them while you're in this courtroom. Because in that room, his his or her words are law. No, no matter how you feel about it, you can feel a certain kind of way, but you walk in there and, and fart and it stinks real, real bad, you can actually go to jail. I mean, I, mean, I know that sounds crazy, but you got to respect the courtroom. And he gets out and instead of saying, well, you know, I kind of understand where the judge was coming from. But three days in jail, eh, this fool say, well, I guess I got to pull him up to my chest. Idiot. Other things I see. These females. All right. Because you already know that I watch World Star like a boss. I watch I Love Pawnage, Dime Wars, all kind of stuff like that. Because I like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I like watching ignorant people be ignorant. I'm not ignorant. I don't go out here and do crazy stuff and get caught on TV like, yo, we saw Mr. 5150 wearing an orange hat and a pink bow tie walking up and down the street calling himself Jesus. Y'all won't see that. So, when I'm on World Star, I mean, I swear, it's at least one a week, ten a month, where the heading is something like this. Ratchet, ratchet girl shakes booty in front of baby in, in room, or ratchet girl has sex in, in room with child. Now... I wouldn't call this taking pride in ignorant shit if she didn't record it. Because, you know, like I like to say, if you don't have me on video, audio, my fingerprints or pictures, it wasn't me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But these females are videotaping it like it's a rite of passage. Yeah, girl, I was shaking my booty in it. You know, and... They take pride in this. And that's sad. You know, like I say in a lot of my videos, man, it's like nothing is off limits now. These girls are doing sexual acts on video like they are 
singing singing songs. I mean, it's commonplace now. But they take pride in it. Even on World Star, why is it that a lot of times when these chicks come out with these ratchet videos or these videos where they're taking pride in some type of idiotic act, they always got their Twitter name at so and so. Like, look at April Pratt. Her her Twitter went crazy. You know, um, and these females take take pride in disrespecting themselves by way of selling their body. I mean, all these twerk videos, all these videos where females are disrespecting themselves, but they want a man to respect them. What? What? You was just on a video shaking your behind. But you looking for a man to respect you. No man with half a brain would respect a chick that does booty shaking. I'm, I'm sorry. You might, but I won't. You know, and I just find it that, that it's crazy. People do take pride in the dumbest stuff. Like, like you always hear stuff about, like, the kids in these urban areas are always looking up to to the neighborhood thugs and stuff. They, they taking pride in wanting to be like the person that's running from the cops every other week that's wanted every other year. There's been shot six, seven, eight times. I don't get that. People are taking pride. Man, I got shot seven times. Could, because you did something wrong, fool. That's not good. That's not like winning the damn lottery. Somebody tried to kill your ass. I, I, don't, I don't get this, man. It's just sad. Because I watch it day in and day out. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not about to sit here and tell you that I don't watch people whoop each other ass, get beat up and shit, because I'm going to watch it. it. It is extremely entertaining. It is extremely entertaining. I mean, but it's sad. Because... A lot of the people that are taking pride in all this ghetto dumb stuff are all young people. So is this our future? Is this what we have to look forward to? Of just a bunch of young punks that rather rob you than help you. A bunch of females that rather shake their ass than do something constructive. Is this our future? Is this our future? Is, is this what I got to look forward to? Because let's let's be honest, being doctors, lawyers, you know, that's not cool no more. <laughs> you know, what's cool now is being the number one stripper. You know what I'm saying? Having the most sex sex tapes on the internet now. That 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 type of stuff you get respect for. You don't get respect for going to college and getting straight A's for four years straight or six years straight. Oh, you're you're a loser. You're a geek. You don't have any fun. No, you don't get respect for that. It's all about being ignorant. Taking pride in the dumbest shit imaginable and that's a shame this world as a whole is is going down i don't care what continent you live on what country you live in or what language you speak everybody is dealing with the type of stuff that i see on world star and i love ponage and and it's sad you know it is entertaining for a short while but once you sit back and say you know what man that is really happening that is really going on like uh 
I saw a video where this girl, I guess that she was getting put out of her house and stuff. She had like the weirdest haircut. She had like a rooster tail and everything, but they were putting her out. And the way, the way that the house was, it was sitting on like a big old corner. And everybody in their uncle's cousin, little brother's pet squirrel was outside. It's like, damn, look at all these people. And these people were, were out there just watching. Now, after what seemed to be an, an eternity, the cops finally showed up after all the action stopped. You know, the girl had an iron pole beating on the door and stuff, and the guy flipped her off of the banister backwards. She landed on her feet, though. So I'm like, this is not her first, this is not her first time getting pushed off a banister backwards because she landed on her feet, brother. I, 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 I mean, he mushed her off and she, what, what, what fool? I did this last week with Jeff and them, you know? But anyway, y'all, that's, that's my time, man. And I just want to just talk to y'all about that because it was just something that I felt that needed to be said, you know, um, it's crazy. People take pride in some dumb stuff. Yeah, like, man, you know, man, I run from the cops, man, and they couldn't catch me, man. Them folks couldn't catch me. Next week, he in jail. He got stopped for running red light. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, y'all, you know, I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for checking out my videos, man, and I appreciate all of the support. I appreciate people that are retweeting my crazy videos that are sharing them on the social networks it is deeply appreciated i am extremely thankful uh just make sure that you stay tuned because i'm always doing videos i i don't have a schedule because you can't schedule this crazy shit it just happens you know it's not like well on wednesday i'm gonna put out a bit no look i just hit the little red button and then we just go from there all right Y'all take it easy, man. It's Comcast, Mr. 5150YMDLU.com. Uh, yum, yeah, Daylou.